Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne. Today, as you will have seen from the thumbnail, I have an Aldi and a little bit from Sainsbury's. I have to go to two places today because I knew I needed mints, so I won't go in to get that from Sainsbury's. And I thought I'd be able to get everything from Aldi, but there was a few things I couldn't get for a recipe that I'm doing. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go to Sainsbury's. And I had all intention of just leaving it and doing it tonight, but then I knew it wouldn't go in today's video, so my meals of the week wouldn't make any sense. So there's my long-winded explanation as to why I went to two shops. <laughs> it is Monday morning. Yesterday was diabolical. I don't know if you guys had torrential. When I say torrential, I mean so many areas of our town flooded. Like it was terrible. I've never seen rain like it, honestly. It was like big, big blobs of rain. Like it was torrential, really, really bad. To the point where when, so we had church last night, they had like a worship evening, which was absolutely brilliant. Like honestly, I hope they do more of it because it was so much fun. Honestly, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I would say probably a huge amount of people didn't bother going last night because of the flooding. But I understand why, because when we were leaving, coming home, which was about nine o'clock, just in one area, like under this bridge where it really flooded, three cars had broken down. Because obviously we've got an SUV, so we're a little bit more off the ground. And they had like normal, normal cars, if you like. Normal cars. Um, so I think their engines must have flooded. What a nightmare. What a nightmare, bless them. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why. I, well, oh my gosh, I've just realised. It's because, you know, <laughs> you know when you're, uh, well, you probably don't know, but just literally overnight, I have suddenly, I can't read. Like if I've got my glasses on, I can just lift up my glasses because I wear contacts, I'm very short sighted. Um, so if I'm wearing my glasses, I could just lift my glasses up and I can read. But when I've got my contact lenses in, it doesn't matter where I put the phone or the ingredients or whatever, I cannot read it for love and money. And it is the most frustrating thing ever. And because I was going <laughs> shopping, I kept getting them out of my bag, putting them on, putting them away, putting them on. And I thought, Joe, I'm just going to put them around my T-shirt because <laughs> I need to see what these things say. Like, you know, oh... This is what old lady problems are, clearly. Right, I'm gonna get on. I'm probably gonna have to put the prices on the screen because I, do you know what I think the problem is with Audi is that the prices are not very clear, in my opinion, in my Audi anyway, they're not. Some of them are, some of them are not. So I'm just gonna put them on the screen so I don't have to even try and remember. Right, get on with it, Leanne. Loaf of bread. That'll probably go in the freezer because we've got one out. This is so naughty, but I know Martin really likes these, so we might have one of those after dinner like tonight. We're actually going to badminton again today. We love it, we're loving it. Got some coleslaw. I will share my meal plan at the end as well. Right, these were new, and Martin loves Space Raiders. So they've got the pickled onion and the beef. And I thought he will love them, kids will probably like them. They probably won't like the pickled onion ones, but they'll definitely like the beef. I got the Nord Pack softest because I'm finding it really difficult to butter bread. Like it's just too firm. Because it's so cold, I think now. It's just not, yeah, that was a cool story. These were new. So Martin really likes the malted milk, but these are the nice biscuits. So I thought, give them a go. They also did the shortbread ones, I think, as new, as new ones. But I thought, I'd just get those ones some garlic bread slices I got some ham you can see that at all this is um dry cured British that's a mouthful British treacle and ale ham sounded really nice got some more mints I got a whole large chicken <laughs> Just touching it through the bag freaks me out, honestly. Right, they had this on offer in um, Audi, and I've had this before, and I really, really liked it. It's got like it's, 
just a hundred percent natural ingredients it's like no i'm pretty sure i mean i've, I've just said that now and i'm gonna have to double check because i was like, i'm a liar and i don't want to do that to you um so what does it say hello where are the ingredients oh yes it is so it is 67 percent tomatoes tomato puree onion celery carrot extra virgin olive oil sea salt white wine vinegar, garlic, apple juice concentrate, basil, bay leaf, rosemary, thyme, black pepper and nothing else. And no added sugar. So there you go. I thought, I thought that was the case. I got some ground black pepper. I don't know what's happening lately, but the cracked black pepper, it got stuck in my tooth the other day and it really annoyed me. <laughs> but I really like black pepper, so I got some of that. You're going to have a justification for everything. Lemon and thyme chicken seasoning. That sounded nice. I thought I'd put that on top of that big chicken. And I've had this before, the garlic and herb seasoning. It is so nice. Really nice. Totally recommend that. My flowers finally, finally are starting. Probably could have been changed Friday, but... Um, Look at these. How gorgeous are these? They were $6.99, but I'm not kidding you. This this bouquet in Sainsbury's would be at least £10, if not £15. I just thought it looked very, very seasonal. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I got some chocolate mousses. We've actually got the kids for a sleepover this weekend. It's Brad's birthday, so the kids are coming for a sleepover. So I still need to get some shopping for Sunday, because I'm doing a big Sunday dinner, but I need I, I wasn't doing that today. Because it doesn't last anyway. More draft cakes. I'm not gonna lie, I did eat a whole thingy. This Martin Amelia come over um on Saturday, they popped in quickly. And um she said, no, 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 I'm really, really so hungry. And Jay said, she's not hungry, she's had, she's had lunch and everything. <laughs> I said, what do you want, darling? She's like, maybe a biscuit, I don't know. And I said, oh, I've got some Jeff cakes. And Jay just said, oh, you love Jeff cakes, don't you? Anyway, life story, sorry. Martin come out to get the Jeff cakes. <laughs> and he went, there's one full pack in here. Is there an open pack somewhere? <laughs> no. <laughs> What are you embarrassing me for? No, there isn't an open pack somewhere. I ate them. The trouble is, if you're sitting there watching something or whatever, don't you just find that you're just putting it in your gob? You're not even... Oh, that's me anyway. That's what I do. Got some of these yogurts. Martin really liked these ones. Actually, they were really nice. Got some of those. Got a teeny weeny, teeny weeny little salad because... I couldn't, I did, I'm so sick of buying all the salad elements and then going off because we've not used them all. So I just needed it for one thing, so. Got that, got some more apples. Got some more bananas. I've only got, I can see, I've only got three bananas on the, on the rack. So hopefully these will go yellow by the time we need them. I've got some tender stem um, broccoli. Carrots. I actually just like eating carrots, <laughs> like just raw, love them. I got some British baby potatoes. And this was a special buy. It was, I think, I'm going to put the price on the screen, but I'm pretty sure this was under £2. And it looks like really good quality. Let me show you. This is my joke of a dustpan and brush but it's cracked there. So when I hang it on the hook there, um, it honestly just keeps falling off because of that. So it's really annoying me. So I'm gonna bin that. And now I've got a new one. And I really like the color as well. It was cute. I think they had it in like a pale blue and a dark gray. It's really good. So that is everything that I got from Aldi. So, the, I'll pop it on the screen because I can't remember where I put my receipt. So the total price spent in Aldi was, now I'm going to get on to Sainsbury's. 
I can, I've just got to say these smell so good these ones are beautiful if you with the purple on them they're called like uh, silk tree blossom and jasmine I can't tell you how divine honestly the smell just makes me so happy if they did this in a plug-in or a candle or something like that I'd 100% get it wax melts a lot smells divine oh lush I, that's all I could smell when I was wheeling my trolley around like <laughs> oh, these nuts I got some brussels because they looked so good like big chunky brussels love it got some panty liners because I can't get these in Aldi I got a, a peppercorn sauce for one of my dishes how adorable are these rainbow carrots colorful and sweet mmm they sounded right up my street I got a butter basted breast joint because I just needed two chicken breasts right I'm not kidding you when they they were either tiny like a little tiny little thing like this or they looked grey and slimy I don't know what's going on with Sainsbury's I said this smartly the other day I don't know if it's all Sainsbury's or if it's just my Sainsbury's but it's diabolical it's filthy in there filthy the shelves are just not being there's never anything new in there the meat looks gross and grim yeah it, they've really let themselves go Sainsbury's to me used to be up here like with Marks and Spencer's like it would be like Marks Spencer's and place like that and then Sainsbury's and then it would be Tesco's and all of that not anymore I I 100% think that Sainsbury's is at the bottom for me now and it's such a shame actually I feel like they should be told that because I don't know if everyone else feels like that but it could just be my Sainsbury's so I'm just having a bad but they need to get in there and shake it up a bit and clean it and you know it's such a shame all of that just to say that I so I went for this because one it was a good price and two um it didn't look great <laughs> right got some Dijon mustard I buy this so many times throughout the year and use this much and then it gets chucked because you know it's been open for that long I don't know how long you're allowed to leave it for but yeah oh, it's terrible I wish I'd do like the smaller ones really because I don't use it that often that's my receipt which I'll need for the prices nutmeg that's what I needed mainly um, from Sainsbury's I didn't have it in Aldi's although I didn't have a look down the baking aisle I don't know do they have separate spices in Aldi down there I don't know got some chives got some spaghetti I got some sourdough just like a half loaf um, for something I'm doing for dinner I'll probably do that tonight actually I'll tell you in a minute right I got a continental grated cheese mix because the cheeses in there were not only teeny tiny like it was like a little tiny slither of it um three pound sixty or something like that for a tiny little and i went got half of that so and i got this these are new <laughs> just saying they don't get nothing new it's called cheese bake cheese so it's um mozzarella and mastan i don't know what that what that means but it says creamy and buttery for a light with light nutty notes expertly blended for a sensational creamy melt and perfect crispy top which is exactly what i need so there you go total spent in sainsbury's was total spent not too bad i don't think it was too bad at all for what i've got okay here's my meals of the week now this may well change about slightly but it will be these meals this week so last night because i just start from sunday smoky chicken schnitzel with a chili and habanero butter glaze with chips and coleslaw and it was mm, so delicious um so today potentially i'm gonna do the chicken breast with some potatoes might be mashed i'm not sure yet 
peppercorn sauce and the tender stone broccoli. If I don't do that, then I'll do Thursday's dinner, but we'll get to that. Tuesday, tomorrow, I have a full day of cleaning. I need to get this house ship shape. So I am going to be doing the roast chicken, the whole roast chicken with veggies. And Wednesday, we have the kids for dinner. So I'm gonna do spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread. Thursday, I've got croquemont sir with salad and coleslaw. Friday, we're out with friends for an Indian, so I'm looking forward to that. You can't even see the board. And then Saturday, we, had, we didn't have the steak and chips. Anyhow, so I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, then please consider subscribing. I always share shopping hauls, meals of the week, vlogs. I like to do cleaning, sometimes try-ons. <laughs> Awkward. Um... Yeah, I have got a video coming up soon of my monthly empties. I haven't recorded it yet because it's not the end of the month. But it's only going to be a few days away. And so I'm going to start doing that. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. And it would also be interesting to me to see what I'm buying that I don't need or don't like. Also have a really, really exciting video um, that I'm going to be filming this week. I have been sent the very new, I think it come out today... Um, being Monday so the the very very new Kasori um, dual dual blaze twin fry 10 litre air fryer I cannot tell you how excited I am to be reviewing this product I feel so utterly utterly blessed but totally underqualified I'm like who am I I feel like I've got imposter syndrome but I'm super excited to use it so much this week so that I can really give you guys a thorough thorough review on what my opinions are because I absolutely love the previous one JJ's using that at the moment because obviously I couldn't have two air fries here um so yeah I'm gonna use this one all week it's all the meals that I can that obviously it's a bit of a nice I'm not gonna do in there but my you know my chicken and everything I'm gonna you try it out give it a really good review so stay tuned for that video and don't forget i've got my giveaway video going up soon so don't forget to look out for that a couple of people from not the uk mentioned that they wouldn't be involved in it you absolutely will i will take the hit it will probably cost me an absolute arm and a leg to post it but i want to include everybody so Genuinely, whoever wins will win the bag. Okay? So don't feel like you're excluded in any way, shape, or form. Even if you are my friends or family, enter. Because I'm not a dishonest person. I'm not going to um, make somebody win. You know, that's not my character. I'm not dishonest like that. So don't feel like, oh, I don't want to enter because, you know... And I'm talking about my girls as well. You know, if they genuinely won, they probably wouldn't accept it. They probably wouldn't enter it. But do you know what I mean? Like... Just enter. That's the whole point of it, isn't it? It's that somebody's going to win it. Anyway, I hope everyone's okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll stop the waffling and I will catch up with you all in the next video. Stay tuned for Monday to see all the meals of the week. Lots and lots of love. God bless.